Uh, dear Mrs. Uh, Nemirovskaya, <coughs> dear Mr. Mushniks, uh, dear Mrs. La Lumiere, dear Mr. Lloyd, <coughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is indeed a privilege uh, to welcome uh, all of you here in the in the premises of the uh, Konrad Adenauer Foundation. Uh, and uh, I tell you, I'm really struck uh, to find uh, first so many people uh, here in this auditorium and at the same time knowing uh, that you are coming from uh, very, very different uh, countries together here to talk about civil society and about the responsibility, the role of responsibility uh, in, in the world. And it is uh, a privilege because uh, the, the Konrad Adenauer Foundation, as you might assume, is an organization as well that is sharing your ambitions and that as well is striving uh, uh, with our uh, different, uh, many uh, different offices uh, in the world uh, for a better, a more just and more democratic uh, environment. And among um, the different tasks we do, the support uh, of civil society uh, is key. And that is uh, uh, the reason as well why uh, we are so uh, proud uh, to be a partner, to be able to partner with uh, the Moscow School of uh, Political uh, Science. <coughs> you are here in uh, Berlin, and uh, <coughs> in these days, you know that we are uh, celebrating 30 years of um, the end of the, the Berlin uh, Wall. Um, and I'm old enough to, uh, to have experienced, uh, to have seen the wall here in the middle, uh, in the middle of uh, the city uh, that uh, separated East and West, and not only East and West, as you know, uh, with regard to the city, uh, but as well uh, Eastern Europe and, uh, and Western Europe. Uh, and, and we all thought that uh, by bringing down the wall, democracy, um, market economy, uh, our way of life, would become the most um, privileged and the most uh, widely um, uh, widespread uh, political system uh, in the world. Um, I spent, as uh, a representative of the Konrad Adenauer Foundation, uh, time in, in Washington, D.C. I was the, the head of our office there, and I, I happened to uh, get to know uh, a scientist that uh, became very famous um, because he uh, addressed this issue by saying this is uh, the end of history, uh, Francis Fukuyama. Uh, a very uh, uh, impressive, I have to tell you, a very impressive uh, personality. Uh, and, and he, uh, like many, many others, thought that um, the, the, the end of the uh, Berlin Wall as well would, as you know, would mark the, 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 the beginning of uh, democracy, democratic societies, strong civil societies around the world. Uh, and, and we all know uh, that this did not materialize the way many, many of us thought uh, this would uh, would happen happen after uh, um, uh, the the fall of the the wall. Uh, and now we are talking about closing spaces, uh, closing spaces uh, for actors like you are, like you represent, uh, like the we, the Konrad Adenauer Foundation, experience uh, not only in <coughs> countries you are coming from, but uh, throughout the world. Um, uh, new uh, NGO laws are put into place. 
uh, new regulations uh, we have to face uh, that sometimes even uh, <coughs> uh, oblige us to leave the country because we don't have any more uh, possibilities uh, to work there. So this is one side of the uh, coin. <coughs> the other side uh, uh, is that um, when it all depends, obviously, uh, uh, of the perspective. You know, the very fact that we are here and that you are here would not have been possible 40 years ago. And, and when I look back to the, let's say, the, the history of the Konrad Adenauer Foundation's activities throughout the world, uh, be it in Latin America, be it in Africa, uh, be it in Asia, uh, we faced uh, very, very difficult situations uh, with dictatorships, um, uh, with uh, really uh, 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 situations where it barely was uh, possible uh, to, uh, to work. So I, I just want, would like to alert you that it is, uh, it is uh, we have to as well um, consider, you know, what are, the, the open spaces that we still have and that might even uh, develop uh, 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 in the future, that we don't lose perspective and, and, and that we keep on uh, struggling for a, a better and more democratic um, society. And I understand that this is the reason uh, why you are here and why you uh, are trying uh, to uh, compare notes, analyze the situation, and what uh, uh, organizations like the Ad Konrad Adenauer Foundation or the organizations you uh, represent uh, uh, can do. Um, there is a second factor to my mind that is um, quite striking that, and that is different to what it was when I started uh, working uh, in the Konrad Adenauer Foundation and that is uh, the connectivity uh, we experience today. Um, when I was a student, just to give you one example, uh, I lived in Venezuela and uh, studied there. Um, and, and to get news of what is happening in Germany was only possible via a, a shortwave radio. Uh, there was no possibility at all to get any, any other uh, news, any other information. Um, today, I can, you know, and in, in, in Venezuela, we experience a dictatorship, uh, really a, a very, very difficult situation. Uh, I can get news uh, every day, uh, um, uh, really on time, uh, what is happening there. What is the situation there? What are our partners and, and people we work with thinking? Um, and this is, a, I think, a great privilege as well for organizations like the Konrad Adenauer Foundation uh, because we are much better connected, we are much better informed, and we have possibilities to use uh, uh, these new instruments uh, to connect uh, 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 each other and as well uh, to uh, drive uh, political discuss uh, discussions in a certain uh, direction. And that is for me uh, something really that, that, that fundamentally changed uh, the, the possibilities institutions like, con the, like uh, the Konrad Adenauer Foundation and I think uh, like uh, the Moscow School uh, of politics and others uh, today have. And, and, and we should use them and we should appreciate, uh, to my mind as well, uh, these, these possibilities. We have today a much better educated uh, society. This is true as well. When I look around uh, 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 in the world, um, we have, uh, you know, when, when, you, when you analyze the Arab Spring, the Arab Spring without um, the, 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 the social networks would never have 
happened the way it happened. Uh, so this is, I think, something uh, that, is, that is very important and that is something we, uh, we as well, we should take into account uh, when, we, uh, when we are talking about uh, what to do uh, to strengthen uh, civil society. And this is my third point. Uh, if when, you know, when I'm observing uh, the discussions when it comes to development, um, civil society today in these discussions, be it in the World Bank, in international forums, uh, wherever you are, is playing a much more important role than 20 years ago. Uh, so so uh, uh, people recognize that when you want to have a democratic, uh, democratic uh, and responsible development, you need a strong uh, civil society. And that, I think, for, for us is a big, uh, big asset uh, and we can build on. <coughs> uh, and we should use, and the very fact uh, that you are here and that you are talking about the role of civil society when it comes to global responsibility uh, testifies uh, that <coughs> uh, civil society is important, but as well that it is recognized that civil society uh, should and will play a very, very uh, important uh, role. And this is the reason as well why we, are, we will feel privileged to work together uh, with you um, I wish you a, a very successful uh, conference, a very fruitful uh, exchange, and uh, I can let you know that the uh, Konrad Adenauer Foundation uh, feels privileged to be on your side. Thank you very much. <laughs>